We are back here with some more Mega Man 7. This is going to be the second Wily Castle stage. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I always give a disclaimer whenever this happens, but this is one of those levels where, for some reason, I was just having a hard time. Uh, probably one of the more challenging levels in the entire Classic series, if I'm being honest. And so, this is not my first time going through it. Usually, um, I'm going through it fresh uh, with all y'all for the first time. But here, man, this was just uh, such a pain. Yeah, I, I wasn't able, and you'll see in a second, I wasn't able to to, to beat the mid-boss. I'm going to spell who it is. You'll, you'll see in just a second. Um, but yeah, man, this is this was this was quite a gauntlet of a stage. And even even some of the platforming elements of it in the second half of the stage. You start out pretty tame here. Just some regular, regular old enemies. Oh, uh, gosh. Gotta love, gotta love your back shield, boys. Back to the boys are just trying to make things more annoying, you know? Alright. Cool. Go up here. Another back shield enemy. me. It's like, why? Why are you doing that? Oh my god. Wow. I, had, I was debating whether to slide or to just hide in the corner. And obviously slide was the right answer, which naturally I didn't do. Let's wait here. I think I can just hit him when he opens up. Yep, there we go. One more. Get him. Nice. To get that blood? Yeah, probably. That's probably a good idea. Knowing what's to come. Uh, I just hate having to go through all these these repetitive parts of the the stage. Like, I, I, this is one of the stages that really makes me hate the um, the whole life system. You know, it's like, hey, if you if you uh, lose your lives, like, why? Like, who cares? You know? I don't know why I bothered to get that. I'm already at full health, but. So yeah, why not just have like infinite lives once you get to like a checkpoint, like either the mid boss or the final boss. Like, why why make me replay the stage? Okay, here's the mid boss. Base is back as you might as you might expect, and sadly, this time it's not just him, but his pups as well. Trouble! I like this little rotating box animation. It's like, come on guys, you guys could have better than that. It looks pretty cool though. It's got the purple flare. So yeah, the strategy here is he has this little, he has this rocket move, I'm still struggling to dodge, and he shoots out a bunch of lasers. If we stay on the ground here, we're pretty much clean on that. So he's got to jump to dodge the laser, and then, so yeah, we can try to get him at the end of that, uh, end of that fall, but he transforms into an invincible mode, like, pretty quick. So, that's a little bit harder one. So you jump. Get him right there, and then we'll get him right here. Yeah, I think we got him right there. So yeah, when he when he does that little charge up attack and he falls, he can fall on either side. So if he comes towards you, that kind of mixes up the spacing a little bit. And now since he's uh, below 50%, he's sending out charge shots. We should get him here, or right here at least. We'll get him. Oh, one more, one more, one more fully charged. There we go. Got him. If it, it took me like. Probably a half a dozen tries to figure out the the mo the pattern of movement, cause I you know the way I play Mega Man, play Mega Man is always pretty offensive. Um, we should uh, see if there's anything up here. I don't think there would be. I think this is all part of the part of the stage we didn't even bother to use during this fight. But for funsies, let's check it out. And I think during the fight, we kind of mess with the gravity, so we could actually have gotten to all these platforms. You saw we were jumping on that second platform without having to use a rush, so fighting that the fight is over, they readjusted the gravity. Anyway, back to normal. So, um, yeah, this is the other part of it that's kind of annoying. You got these springs on the sides. Uh, and if that's not annoying enough, I guess I could, I could, I should use a super adapter, but I kind of want to get this. Um, ugh. It's the classic way. The purest way. Frogs. Okay. So now if we jump, there we go. Oh no! I think if you drop all the way down to the bottom, the frogs respawn. So we don't want to do that. We can drop down any part lower than that. Here we go. Jump. Nice. These uh, higher enemies are so random. Such a weird design. Alright. This 
when things get crazy out here. This is the part that I always have the most trouble with. Um, well, I, I, after I figured out the, the base fight. I would to figure out the pattern of like where you should be. That becomes a little bit easier. But this is where... Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm almost dead. And... These lasers are... Or these fire... Flamethrower... Flame pillars, whatever you call them. Or something else. You know what? I'm just... I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna... Let's heal up here. It'd be a shame to come this far and have to start. We have to obviously go back to right after we beat base. And go to that annoying... Go to that annoying... Uh, spring section again. Ah! Okay. Oh my god, see, the timing is so, like, nasty, because you just... Oh no! Oh, fuck me. You gotta me. I'm, like, I'm burning through my... <laughs> the life that I bought, or the, the health bar I bought, I bought for myself. The nasty thing about Rush is that he doesn't... In this game, I think it, it, this wasn't true in... Uh, this wasn't true in previous... Oh my god! God! This wasn't true in previous games, but I think Rush disappeared if you didn't use him for a while. But I think here, he doesn't do that. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Got him. Alright. We're now down to a quarter. We pretty much used a, a whole health bar and just spanning that one section. So that's fucking great. Um, I think we, yeah, we have another life. So, um, we're fighting the level boss. We should actually, oh my god. I'm just giving away health. Let's see if that bat comes down. Yeah, there we go. Even if they're off screen, that's crazy. That's the only enemy that, like, retains its position off screen. Most other enemies, if they go off screen, they'll just. Um, they'll just. cease to exist, I guess. Let's see if we can get this guy with the Thunderbolt. I don't know when the Thunderbolt splits. Is it on contact with something it splits up and down? Let's see if this will work. Alright, I think that's literally the first time I've used a weapon in the game where, like, it wasn't part of the mechanic, like, using an electrical weapon to fire up the electrical component or whatever. Um, I don't think we could rush our way to that top one. That seems like too high of a, of a jump. Let's try it anyway. A little low on rush code, but that's fine. And here we go. Nope, oh, okay. Stupid. Let's try this. One, two, three, boom. Alright, bounce. Yeah, just barely we're missing. So we gotta go over to that left platform and then we could probably rush jet, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't see a better way. I could use the super adapter, I think, but I don't wanna. Don't wanna do that. Let's get this heal. Just alive, wait for these pillars to go off. And we're good. Okay. Whew. So we made it to the final boss here. The final boss is also... I've, I've only gotten to him... Um, I think once or twice. Of the few times we've run through this level. Obviously, as with, as the trend of these Wily's Castle bosses. Kind of random. Doesn't... Just, no one we expect to see. This is random fucking uh, catapult turtle from Yu-Gi-Oh. So he lets out these little turtlets. Um, and they can do all sorts of different things. So you see the, um, it seems like the number on this, on the little, the little turtle house tells you what activity they'll do. So if it's a three, they do this little burrowing and, and spinny move. And we can only hit him right, right there when his mouth is open. That's the only time we can hit him in the entire thing. Um, so when he does that dash attack, it's nice, because that's pretty easy to dodge and pretty much get a free thing. So this number two, yeah, this number two is one where he they, they, they fly into the sky. And unfortunately, I think only a charge um, a charge shot a charge shot will actually hit them. We, we can't just spam them with regular pellets. Um, so we have to wait for the shot to fully charge. Here we go, dash, dash. Alright, so... Alright, number two, same thing. So they're gonna fly up in the sky. We, so they, they take two fully charged shots to kill. Oh, no, no, I hesitated. Ah, man. That was tough. Alright. This is gonna be one of the longer battles, just because it's... The opportunities to actually hit him are so few and far between. Alright. Okay. 
attack, slide, slide. And he never does, he always does the same exact order of things. So he'll always do a dash attack and he'll always do one of these little turtley moves. Uh, uh, oh my god, okay, I landed right on the freaking thing. Uh, the nice thing is occasionally, I think these guys drop like heals and stuff. Uh, so it is in our uh, interest to actually uh, attack them. That's the first time I've seen him do that, where he does a double dash attack. That's interesting. Alright, so this, two, this is going to be the flying one. There you go. See, there's a heal. Which we can see. Okay, we gave it back right there, but that's fine. Gotta get to the left side before he comes down on us. There we go. Cool. Alright. He takes his time coming back down, so that time is not too bad. Oh, oh. Now I gotta be on, on, on guard, or on watch for that second dash attack in a row if he wants to do that. Alright, same thing here. Trolls are gonna fly up in the sky. We can get this first one. We can't get the second one, though. So let's aim for the third one at least, so now he'll be one hit down. Ah, I missed. There we go. No heal, sadly. We're doing okay on health, though. He's down to about, uh, about half. We're still well over three quarters. Slide, slide. Slide, slide. I wonder if he can do it three times. I wonder if it's just like a weird AI thing that he doesn't do it more. Alright, man, he loves doing this attack. There's there's a way, um, I think he did, this, obviously we've seen the number two and three on that turtle house thing. There's also obviously a number one attack that I've seen him do, and that one's the easiest one to deal with. He hasn't done that one yet, so. Sadly, no rest for the weary. Yeah, really, only the, the only time we should be taking damage is, you know, getting hit by the, the mini turtles. This is the most annoying one. I'd rather take one or three, but he's giving us the hardest one to deal with. Oh, man, I meant to jump. We're doing great on health, though. He's, what, two hits away from dying? Fully charged, and then just uh, spammy. Oh, okay, here we go. Slide, slide, and we got him. Nice. Whew, that felt like it took forever, man. Which it probably did. That was probably longer than any of the Robo Master fights. Easy stuff. Alright, that is the second leg of your boy Wily's Castle. Um, and, wow. What, what to say about that? That was just like a hard level, man. That was a, a genuinely hard level. Wouldn't expect anything less. Like That was that kind of mirrored the difficulty in, in Mega Man 1. Like classic one, the original Mega Man game, was difficult for all sorts of reasons, just because the mechanics, the jumping was weird, they didn't have sliding yet. Um, that was hard for a whole other set of reasons, but I think this this stage kind of just matched just the raw difficulty of it, regardless of the reasons. Um, it was uh, kind of on par there. So, uh, we'll see what they have in store for us. I think next we should have the Robot Masters and Wily himself. So we'll pick it up next time with more Mega Man 7.